What's up everybody, Gandy's here and we are back at it again with another video. But before we get into it, make sure you check out all the links in the description below. And yes, it's 2024 and the Nintendo Switch 2 has been pushed to March 2025, which is next year and it's not going to come out this year. So I'll leap back, the Switch 2 has a lot of rumors going on it may be released this year. I thought it was going to release this year, but... It was now going to be releasing in March 2025 instead, which is the point of Nintendo's biggest process. Now, everyone's been talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 lately, and I am, and I'm sorry about that. But um, the Switch 2 will have more features. Um, I'm not sure exactly, or maybe next console. And now, I talked about this recently about the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. It was in February, but now... It was not a regular Nintendo Direct. It was a partner. It was a Nintendo Direct partner showcase, which is looking like a Nintendo Direct Mini. Well, it's not that bad to be honest with you guys. I think the Nintendo Direct Mini is only like thirty minutes, but the Nintendo Direct partner showcase was twenty-five minutes. Now I can tell the Nintendo Direct could be fifty minutes and one hour, something like that. But um, so far the Switch Two would have pro process of release date like i need a release date for the switch 2 and it's going to be in march 2025 but we haven't gotten a release date for metroid prime 4 so this is a rumor that metroid prime 4 might not come out this year it might come out next year but maybe later this year metroid prime 4 it might come out later this year because one year ago metroid prime remastered on the nintendo switch metroid prime was on the gamecube before and now it's on the nintendo switch as i can tell now, as I can tell, I don't play Metroid that much because I only played Metroid Dread, and that's the only Metroid game I've played on the Switch. Um, I want to wait till a 2D Metroid game comes. I mean, I have played Metroid Fusion, and it is on the Switch on the Game Boy Advance. And basically, there's nothing to know about what features might come to the Nintendo Switch 2, but basically, in the next update, they might add Miiverse or, and Notes. They might add... Let's see what else they're going to add. They might add internet browser like the Wii U and the 3S has. Download management. I guess that that's the one because since we have some games that might be updated, that might be it. That might be a good idea if Nintendo adds download management. And now what else they should add? So think of the menu, the 3S and the Wii U home screen. Like what they have is, I believe they have notifications and internet browser, friendless, notes, data management. They also have me versus well, it's online functionality because it came out like, I don't know, it came out like when the 3DS, when the Nintendo 3DS came out, they introduced me first and the Wii U was introducing me versus as well. I want the Switch have me versus as well. That's what we want to see as I can tell, and the Nintendo Switch 2. But now Nintendo decided to not release me first on the Nintendo Switch. But they should add it with these icons, though. They decide to really... They can just release these icons, though, and even notes. Like, you can just draw something with a touch screen. And, you know, that... This should be a good idea. Or even the Wii U 2. Like, I'm making things up. Like, bruh. <laughs> so the Nintendo Switch 2 and the Wii U 2, but what if Nintendo decides to release um the Nintendo Switch 2, but what about the Wii U OLED? That would be perfect. The Wii U OLED. The Nintendo Switch Lite is like the Wii U, of course. But um the Wii U OLED should be able to come to the I believe the Wii U OLED may be Nintendo's next console. But they're just gonna do Nintendo Switch 2 instead because I've seen a lot of games I've played recently so far. I'm really a huge Nintendo Switch player, by the way. I'm just like a pro gamer. But I'm still thinking about if I want to get back to Xbox or PlayStation. Because I just want to stick with Nintendo. But I'll just decide if anything. Like I'll just decide if I'm going to get the Switch 2 or not. But um, I might decide because there may be next consoles coming. Because the PS6 might be coming pretty soon, the Nintendo Switch 2, or even the Xbox, a new Xbox console coming. I mean, who knows? The Switch 2 is going to come out in March 2025, 
and uh, Metroid Prime 4 might be releasing later this year. So yeah, that was my thought of the Nintendo Switch 2 releasing in March 2025 next year, and uh, not this year. So um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys do enjoy this video, um, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.